This or this? This or this? Better with one or two? Or is it about the same? Not too long ago, I released a video called Six YNAB Mobile App Features You've Been Missing. Well, today I'm swinging back around with six more sneaky features you may have been missing on my very favorite platform, the desktop. Let's learn about them. First up, we have the plus and minus features, a handy tool indeed. You may already use this feature all the time on the calculator built into the mobile app, but did you know you can easily use plus, minus, multiply, or divide on the desktop as well? Just click this symbol to open up the buttons or use your very own keyboard. Just, just like this. Huh, oh, look how easy that is. Wow, I'm really doing it. Makes it super easy to shave $27.43 off a category without having to do actual math. Sorry kids, turns out you didn't even need to know how to do basic math to survive. It's all a trap. Just kidding, stay in school. Not only is this super handy for divvying out a new paycheck or moving cash around in your budget, but it also comes in great handy in the account register, especially for things like sorting out the multiple outflows of a split transaction. Let me show you what I mean. I have this super real receipt for a $100 transaction at Shoppers Plus, so I will go ahead and pop that in as the master outflow number for this transaction. You knew some of it was for makeup, some for home maintenance, and some was for groceries. Well, friends, you can easily run down your receipt and literally add up each item one by one in the correct outflow box to determine your total. So, looks like in this one trip, I spent seven, 12, and eight dollars on different makeup items, 25 and 18 dollars for home maintenance items, and the rest of the items I purchased all fall into groceries. Your budget will run the numbers for you and let you know how much is left after it subtracts the totals for makeup and home maintenance, and you can plug that remaining number in as your groceries outflow. I always semi-wing it and round up a little bit on each item for sales tax, or you can just split the tax three ways and add a little bit to each category. Way less top of the head math and way less of a guessing game. Next, did you know about the keyboard shortcut that allows you to collapse and expand your entire budget? Well, did ya? If you're someone with a boatload of categories in your budget and you find it hard to navigate, this keyboard shortcut will be your best friend. Just press Command Up to collapse all the categories and suddenly you can find the category group you want much more easily. Command Down to open them back up again and toggle rapidly through Command Up and Down for a budget dance party. Sprinting forward, are you all about speed? Well, splitting transactions just got mouse free. No clicking in this budget. Not today. While you're entering a transaction, you can type split or just the first few letters of it into the category box and press enter to select it and move over to the memo box. Then just tab your way through the rest of the transaction. Y'all, you can even tab your way through the cancel, save, and save and add another buttons and hit enter to select it when you've highlighted the one you want. Yeah. And while we're at it, you can use those keyboard arrows to select any day you could possibly want on the calendar. Seriously, mouse who? Next in line, there are many forms of bulk movement and actions found in the edit menu. Three of the most missed being categorize, move account, and enter now. With categorize, you can send as many selected transactions as you want to the same category with one swift kick. Nailed it. With move account, you got it, same thing. Select all the transactions in the wrong account and ship them off to the right one. And lastly, enter now. Did a bunch of your scheduled transactions just hit the bank early? Bump them into your budget all at once with the enter now button in the edit menu. It, it, it's been there the whole time. <laughs> you just, you, you didn't see it, but it was there. Next, name the month with a goal, mentality, or inspiration for that month. If you've never added a note to your month before, this is a small but surprisingly handy feature. Name the month to remind you of your goals for the month, like 34 day reset or no spend November. And our final tip, again, just like it was in the mobile app video, emojis. And this isn't even, that's not even a part of our app. It's just, people like them. 
Well, it's easy peasy on the mobile app because you have an emoji keyboard built right into your phone keyboard. But with the web app, you do need a little sneaky information and that is the keyboard shortcut that activates the emoji keyboard. It's been there the whole time, you guys. Look it up on the internet. For those of you with a Mac computer, you can open up your emoji keyboard by holding down control command space. If you're on a Windows computer, try the Windows key and the period or Windows key and the semicolon. If neither of those work, it may mean that your computer was manufactured before the donning of the emoji keyboard. And to be honest, I think that's a thing of beauty. Truly a, a thing to behold. And though emojis aren't a feature of YNAB, they actually can help you with your budget. If you want an easy way to quickly decipher which categories are safe to borrow money from and which aren't, try using the red, yellow, and green light emojis to indicate it's good to borrow from this category, it's all right to borrow from this category if the other categories have run out, or no way, Jose, you absolutely can never borrow from this category, not one penny even ever. And ta-da, that's all I have for you. I hope you learned at least one new thing today, but even more than that, I hope you learned six new things today because that would mean I'm doing my job well. If you have your own favorite features on the YNAB desktop that I did not share, I would highly encourage you to share them in the comments below. You're always invited, by the way. Leave a comment. Just ask me how I am. Um, yeah. And if you like these tips and tricks, make sure to check out some of the tips and tricks that came straight from YNAB budgeters like you in our top five YNAB YouTube commenter tips video. Is that a mouthful or is that a mouthful? Thanks for tuning in today, budgeters, and we'll catch you in the next video. I think I have blush on one cheek and not the other. Okay, and though emojis, okay. And though emojis, <laughs> This bun is very 2001 of me. Look at that spunk. And if you like these tips and tricks, make sure to cat, uh, make sure to, I got it, okay.